BU took the court for the second time in three days to host the Lafayette Leopards. The Terriers controlled the game from the tip as Nia Thompson sprinted to the basket to score just seconds into the game. Goes up and finishes with an easy left-handed layup. That's exactly how coach wants to start every game. Lafayette responded early, but Sarah Hope gave the Terriers a first quarter lead they wouldn't relinquish. Game is the clear point as Ottawa Soulsby with got about six and a half minutes gone here in the first. Terriers down by one. Thompson works her way to the free throw line, finds Hope open for three. Corinne Williams also connected from distance, and her teammates found her on the low block as well. Latham on the baseline, nowhere to go, finds Williams. Nice cut and a nice back screen from Megan Green on the play for two. BU built on their first half lead, and it was Hope and Williams leading the way. Williams is fronting her all the way. Three ball on the way from Williams. It's good. Face the ticky tack fouls right now here in the fourth quarter. Third quarter, excuse me. Hope to the basket, flips it up, and gets it to go. Well, she makes a living beyond the arc, but now she's got a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. In the fourth quarter, defense turned to offense as the Terriers put the game on ice. Pops up in the corner, trying to get it to Soulsby, but Thompson will sprint the other way with the basketball. She's gonna bounce pass for Williams on her stronger left side, and that's how you keep your top score going. Nia Irving shot seven of eight on free throws as the Terriers improved to three and one in league play. The full 40 minutes in the Patriot League. Irving goes two for two to make it a 20 point lead. That's BU's largest of the night. And Back at Case Gym, BU with a dominant 68-50 victory over the Lafayette Leopards. We are joined here by head coach Katie Setting and coach the 18 point win dominated from, from tip off to finish. What was the most encouraging sign of the victory tonight? Uh, that we were able to score inside against a big team. Um, Lafayette does a really good job, I think, defensively. Um, they're a gritty and tough team. They proved it the other night against Army, going to three triple overtime. And we knew we had to come out fired up, so we tried to get the kids extra, extra ready for the energy level that they were going to need. Uh, and I thought they responded very, very well. And Corey Williams with 21 points, nine rebounds, five of those offensive, and she had five steals as well. What do you see from her this afternoon? Leadership leadership and playing like she wants to be a champion like she wants she wants to be good every every night in and out um, I, I just I have a lot of respect for the kid because she's come from uh, come really from the bottom and she's working hard to bring her team up to that level too so she's she's done a tremendous job and finally coach a three and one start in Patriot League play what does that show about your team um, that we didn't take um, the uh, non-conference uh, slate too seriously. Um, we learned from it, we played some really good teams. Uh, I thought we learned from every game and the girls kept their heads in it the entire way. Thanks coach, good luck Wednesday. Thanks. BU returns to action on Wednesday in the nation's capital, facing an American team who knocked them out of the tournament last year. Tip off at 7 p.m. on January 11th.